So I am not in a relationship. Uh, I am married. <laughs> yeah. My wife is Italian, but get this, she's an Italian woman who can't cook. Yeah, I mean, what are the odds of that? You, know, you have a better chance of getting into a taxi and finding an American driver. I never liked my wife. There's actually a huge souvenir store in the middle of Hollywood that's named after my wife. It's called La La Land. <coughs> yeah. It's always hard to take my wife out to dinner. She's one of those never happy with the table she sits at, right? We all know people like that. Oh, this table's too cold. Oh, now this table, the music is way too loud. Now we're sitting too close to the door. <coughs> and that's just when we go to Taco Bell. <laughs> It's embarrassing. I mean, we'll go into a restaurant, go up to the host stand, and they'll say, table for two? And I go, no, it's going to be three tables for two. She didn't like that joke, huh? <laughs> so I was born and raised by alcoholic parents. I know I'm not alone. But you know what that made me, though? A bartender. <laughs> I did. I bartended for many years. Uh, people don't drink the hard stuff like they used to. They drink what they call these candy drinks like lemon drops, right? Lemon drops? So good. Yeah, it's like a throat lozenge. You know? <laughs> There's chocolate cake shots, oatmeal cookie shots. There's even a drink called a blueberry muffin. People don't want bars, they want bakeries. <laughs> and it's not just the girls either, it's the guys too. I had a guy come in one time, order a chocolate martini. I'm like, grow up, chocolate? I asked him, I said, you want some cookies with that pal? <laughs> yeah, you want a coloring book with your little chocolate drink? <laughs> chocolate martini. One thing I never got used to is customers coming in and saying to me, what's your specialty? <laughs> like I'm a chef. <laughs> I tell these, I say to these people, if you want a chef to make a drink, I can do that. Oh, <laughs> tonight, I have a special drink of the gin and tonic. <laughs> I don't put a lime in it, no, I garnish my gin and tonic with a shiitake mushroom <laughs> that is sauteed in a caramelized onion glaze. Mwah! Magnifique. That'd be $700. <laughs> mushroom was imported. <laughs> Had a woman come in and ask me that same question, you know, what's your specialty? And I told her, I said, you know what my specialty is? I have extensive knowledge of American presidential history. She didn't get it. <laughs> that sounds different. How do you make that? 